Breaking news right now. In just the past two hours, northbound I-25 reopens between University and Broadway. And if you were driving that stretch of road from about the tech center through downtown like I was, you probably either saw this or you were stuck in the backup behind it. More than 100 cars. One person killed, 30 others hurt. The video says it all, and drivers describe it best. Literally, it just whited out, and I, my brakes weren't stopping, and then all of a sudden, cars just started hitting everybody. The cars involved are towed to a parking lot near South High School a short time ago. 7 News reporter Molly Hendrickson is there. Molly, people are just starting to pick up their cars. That's right, Jacqueline. And we've been watching people come and pick up their cars in the last hour here. You can see that there's a tow truck in the background there, and some of the damage is extensive. We're also seeing tow truck drivers continue to bring some of those damaged cars to this parking lot here. We even saw one guy driving off with his bumper dragging on the ground. First responders say the sheer size of the crash combined with weather conditions made it a difficult and chaotic scene. So fast. Cars are whipping up the snow. It was just like a wall of red. And then everybody just started spinning. A weekend commute on an icy I-25 quickly turns into a driving nightmare. Cars hitting and, hitting and hitting and hitting and hitting each other. So yeah, you didn't you didn't you dare move. You didn't dare move. A chain reaction involving more than a hundred cars. Rescuers pull victims from the mangled metal and load them into nearby ambulances. This is a very difficult scene. It's scattered over uh, a long distance uh, under difficult conditions, um, and we're doing everything we can to uh, get people safe. Police confirming one person was killed. According to witnesses, a woman inside this red car, its top peeled back and launched partway under a semi, was dead by the time help arrived. Saw the guy get out. He had blood all over him. And then they told us that there was a lady in there too. It didn't make it. At Denver Health, ambulances arrived with the badly injured. At least 20 people, some children. I don't have any specifics on injuries. I can tell you that we have transported adults. We have transported children. I can't give you any ages. I can't give you any specifics at this time. We're still trying to gather all that information. And back here live at All City Stadium, that tow truck finally moved out of the way. You can see some of the damage to some of those cars. The front ends just smashed in there. Now, we checked with CDOT. Amy Ford says they had about 100 plows with four tankers working the road since last night. She couldn't tell me when the last time they made a pass over that stretch of I-25 was, but she said that the roads were in fairly okay condition. Police still not releasing the identity of the driver who was killed. Reporting live in Denver, Molly Hendrickson, 7 News.